to another cabin crew layover vlog week in the life of cabin crew that kind of thing if you are new here then hello my name is meg and i am cabin crew funnily enough for a uk airline based in london and i predominantly post uh week in the life of cabin crews layover vlogs and that's what today's video is going to be we're going to do another week in the life of cabin crew i am sorry i'm getting ready for work whilst i talk i'm trying to master this whole multitasking thing so Today's Thursday and today is the start of a four day Euro tour for me. So a Euro tour at my airline because I do short haul and long haul. A Euro tour is basically four, it's a four day trip, kind of like a long haul trip, but in Europe instead of in a long haul destination. It can consist of like lots of different destinations. Usually a four day Euro tour, you'd probably have around three different night stops. But on this one, I actually have what's called a standover, which is basically two nights in a European destination instead of one, which is the standard. You guys that are OGs will know that I love a standover and it's actually in a new country. I give you the lowdown of this block. So today I have three sectors. I don't start until 2.45 and it's currently like half past 10. So I'm going to leave the house in about an hour, maybe a bit longer. I give myself three hours to get into the airport, even though I live about an hour 30. You can never predict the traffic, especially on the M25. And also I like to get to the crew car park in plenty of time because obviously I have to find a parking space, park my car, get all my things together. Usually I need a wee by the time I get there because I've drank so much on the journey there. But I wait for the bus, get on the bus to the terminal and then check in, read all my on messages. So even if I were to get there an hour before my report, it takes around half an hour just to like park my car and get into the terminal. So I always like to give myself three hours and usually I am early. And if that's the case, I will usually either get a coffee or something to eat. It's just much better having plenty of time than feeling rushed and being late. I mean, you can't be late in the airline industry because you'll just get taken off your flight. I start at 2.45 and I have an Aberdeen there and back into a Manchester night stop. Some of you might know I've been to Manchester a few times throughout my years of being cabin crew. I love it there. Obviously at the moment there are some riots going on there. So I don't know how that's gonna affect like whether we're allowed out or not. I'm sure we probably still will be allowed out, but I don't know, I'm a bit like unsure about it at the moment. Let's just say that the riots aren't still going on and everything's fine and dandy in Manchester right now. I get there quite late tonight. I probably will be going straight to sleep. However, I do plan to go out tomorrow because I don't leave until like mid afternoon tomorrow. I've got like the whole morning and a little bit of the afternoon there. And my plan is to go and get myself an acai bowl because this girl loves acai bowls. And when I'm at home, there isn't, obviously I could make my own, but in terms of like places to get acai bowls, there's nowhere around where I live. So I always make the most of destinations where I can get an acai bowl. I will probably go to Primark as well because I was in Manchester, how long ago now? Like maybe a month ago. I did go to Primark when I got there, but I because I'd been working all day, I was quite tired. And by the time I got there, I couldn't really be bothered to look around and try things on whereas tomorrow i would have had a night's sleep and i'll have so much energy i'll probably end up going to primark um but that's generally all i tend to do in manchester to be honest tomorrow after i get picked up from manchester i'm flying back to heathrow and then i'm flying on to stockholm in sweden which is a brand new country for me i'm not sure what number it is i feel like it might be 31 country number 31 i will double check that but yeah i'm so excited to be doing another stand over and to be going to a new country i don't know what i'm gonna do yet i haven't planned yet but i'll definitely be doing something so i get there tomorrow night late and then i have hold of saturday there all day and all night so i will 100 percent be exploring what Stockholm has to offer. And then on Sunday, I leave Stockholm and I have another there and back attached to it. I actually can't remember where it is off the top of my head, but I have another there and back. So I have three sectors on Sunday and I finish at around 4 p.m. And then that is like this Euro tour over and done with. However, I have my days off from this Euro tour and I then have three available days. So I'll explain to you what an available day is if you don't know already. It's kind of like standby, but it's much better than standby because you don't have to be ready to go. Like it's not like being on call. An available day is essentially exactly what it sounds like. It's a day that you are available to work. You can, the good thing about available days is you can actually change them yourself. You can swap onto open trips or 
trips that other crew don't want but it's very unlikely that other crew want available days so yeah you can swap them yourself from the minute you get your roster whereas you can't do that with standby but also i have three days so they could change to a long haul trip they could change to a euro tour again they could change to three days of there and backs or they could change to non-operational which means i have a day off basically i don't think that's very likely given the fact that it's the summer holidays but we'll see so basically if they don't change to anything they have to call me on the day at 6 a.m but i don't have to answer the phone so they can just leave a voicemail unlike standby where you have to answer the phone and they have to give me a minimum an absolute bare minimum of 10 hours notice so the earliest i would start is 4 p.m if they called me on the day standby if they call you you have to answer it and they can give you they usually do give you more but the minimum that you'll get is two hours on standby you kind of need to be ready to go to work at all times whereas on available days you don't as it stands they are still three available days they haven't changed to anything yet and i haven't changed them myself because i haven't seen anything i fancy i imagine at least one of them if not all of them are probably going to change whilst i'm on this trip so i will let you know once they do change i thought i would include whatever i end up getting off of my available days in this vlog as well because my available days are Wednesday, Thursday, Friday next week. So it will be like a Thursday to Friday vlog. I'm going to include my days off as well. That's what this weekly vlog is going to be. Anyway, I'm going to finish getting ready. Um, I have packed my case. I just need to get myself ready and get myself out the house. I probably won't speak to you now until I'm in Manchester. So I'll see you there. Good evening. Sorry if you can hear my shower. Randomly throwing water out of it. I'm gonna make this brief because I'm very tired. Hello, we are in Manchester. I literally love this hotel that we stay in in Manchester. It's so cute. It's like five past midnight. We were a little bit late arriving. Do you know what? Considering I haven't left the UK today, technically, it's been a really long day. I'm so ready for bed, but I thought I would just say hi to you all quickly. We've just had a few delays today, nothing major, but it's just made the day all that little bit longer. Finally re-bought the mini cleansing balm, the chamomile one from the body shop. Thank you to the person that told me about that in the comments of one of my videos, by the way. Because I really hate using makeup wipes to take my makeup off. I never feel like it does a good enough job. Really pleased that I've got this cleansing balm again. I'm literally gonna go to bed. I'm gonna watch TikTok for like 10 minutes and then I'm gonna make myself a sleep. I'm tired. I mean, do you know what? Even if I slept in tomorrow and didn't really end up getting time to explore, I'm not that fast because I've done Manchester so many times that I don't feel like I'm missing out if I do sleep in late. Our pickup isn't even until like half two, I don't think. So I've, I've got so much time, even if I sleep in until like 10, which is quite unlikely to be honest, but I'm gonna go to sleep. So I will speak to you all in the morning. Good morning. It is about 10 to 11 in the morning. I woke up at about quarter past nine, but I've just been chilling, had a cup of tea and a biscuit, and then just kind of slowly got myself up. I found an acai bowl place, so I'm gonna go there, and then I'm probably gonna mooch down to Primark, have a look around, and then come back. I'm wearing this green, like, shirt dress from Everything Five Pounds. I've got my little white bag, I've got trainers on put my hair in a claw clip because it's like at that stage where it's getting greasy already let's go get me an acai bowl hello <laughs> classic me didn't film a single thing apart from my acai bowl while i was out i feel like i must have almost done ten thousand steps on my outing so i found like the closest acai bowl place even the closest one was like still a 20 minute walk i started walking to this place but it was one of those places that's clearly like inside a different building so it's quite difficult to actually find it on maps walking around for ages couldn't find it so i thought i'm just gonna go somewhere else that doesn't acai bowl so i found somewhere that was literally like a four minute walk from where i was they were quite a nice place and they were quite small so they were really busy and they had like a waiting list for tables i didn't really want to buy one to take away because obviously i wanted to go to primark and also it was quite a long walk i was like can i please go on the waiting list for a table i'm only me it's just one person which by the way don't be scared to go for breakfast on your own honestly i didn't feel awkward at all sat there at a table on my own surrounded by people that were sat with each other I found it quite liberating to be honest it was called 
what was it called? The name escapes me now. I've just had to look it up. It was called Federal Cafe. And it was lovely, actually. I looked at the menu. I got an iced coffee while I was waiting because I had to wait outside for about 20 minutes before they could seat me. When I eventually sat down, I got an apple juice. And I was half tempted because they did... Um, like avocado and poached eggs on toast. I was so tempted to get that because I really fancied it. I thought the whole reason I came here, the whole reason I walked all this way is because I wanted an acai bowl. So it kind of feels illegal to not get now get an acai bowl. So I still got an acai bowl and it was very good. But then by the time I got out of there, it was like midday. And obviously I, well, I thought I was getting picked up at half two, but I checked just before I left my room and it's actually 20 past three that I get picked up. I was like, Right, I'm gonna go to Primark and I'm gonna make sure that I leave Primark at one. So that I'm back at the hotel by like no later than half one. Just because I wanna chill for a bit. I feel like I've just done a lot of walking. I have I think I've done like eight thousand steps on that journey. Anyway, I went to Primark. I did end up putting a few things in my basket. It was literally just this dress and this little like loungewear two piece. And then I tried them both on and obviously didn't like either of them. So I ended up putting it back. Then I left Primark, didn't buy anything in Primark, guys. Not a single thing. But if I'm honest, I actually didn't rate the selection that they had today. I normally like the Manchester Primark, but there just wasn't a lot in there that, that was catching my eye. It's good because I haven't spent all my money on clothes. And as I was walking back through like the town bit, I walked past H&M and I thought, I always see stuff I like in H&M, but I was really desperate for the loo. So I was like, I don't really want to go in there and start like trying stuff on when I really need a wee. Had I not needed a wee, I would have gone into H&M and probably spent money. So it's been a day full of like blessings in disguise, really. We should have a bit of time when we get back to Heathrow before we need to get on our flight to Stockholm. We'll probably get something to eat when I get to Heathrow because you don't really have time to eat on a Manchester flight because they're so quick. I am back now and I'm just gonna chill out, I think, for an hour and then I'll start getting ready. I'm just gonna watch some YouTube, but yeah, pretty uneventful day, really. I might speak to you before I go, but if not, see you in Stockholm. Good morning. We are in Stockholm. It is about 20 past 11 at the moment. Oh my gosh, yesterday was just, it was just all a bit much. We got in the taxi at our hotel in Manchester. Our plane hadn't even taken off yet from London. And when we got to the airport, it still hadn't taken off. They had a problem with, um, I think they said it was with the air bridge or something. So they were delayed at London. So we literally got to Manchester Airport and there was no point in us even going to our gate because there was no plane there. So we literally just sat. I went and got a meal deal from Boots because at this point it was like four o'clock and I hadn't eaten since my acai bowl and I was quite hungry. Eventually we got on our flight from Manchester and we ended up landing at Heathrow at like quarter to seven in the evening. I think we were supposed to land at five past five. We had to be at our gate for our Stockholm flight at 20 past seven. Luckily, we were able to, to do an airside turn, which is where you can stay airside rather than having to go like out of for arrivals through customs and then back through and go through security all again. And so we literally just came out of our gate airside and went to the one that Stockholm was on, which was only like five or six gates up from where we were. But we got there and our flight deck were still in Edinburgh. They hadn't taken off from Edinburgh yet. We were concerned when we were in Manchester that we were gonna miss our Stockholm, like miss the cut off for it, but even if we had missed it, we probably would have still got kept on it because we didn't have any flight crew. And we didn't end up taking off from Heathrow. We were supposed to take off from Heathrow to Stockholm at five past eight, I think it was, and we took off at half past nine. So we arrived at our hotel because the hotel's quite far from the airport. We, we got to the hotel at like 2 a.m., which is obviously 1 a.m. at home because they're an hour ahead here, but still, still very, very early slash late. I literally had a shower and went to bed and I, I literally, I was going to catch up with you, but I was like, I'm so tired. 
I just need to sleep because obviously I didn't want to waste the day today as well. So I went to sleep and I set an alarm for 10 a.m. Did actually wake up at about quarter to 10. Could have easily gone back to sleep, but I was like, I'm going to force myself up. So I did. And here I am. And I've just got myself ready. I've just been mooching around because basically where we stay, it's not actually in Stockholm. Me and the, one of the other girls on this trip are going to get the train into Stockholm, which is about 45 minutes from here. The train station's literally there. Um... I've got a balcony in my room. Guys would have seen when I opened the door this morning that the train station was literally across the road. We're going to get on the train and go into actual Stockholm. Don't know what we're going to do there. Obviously, we'll go for some lunch and have some drinks and just have a little explore, really. But yeah, I just wanted to actually go into the city that I'm in, if you know what I mean, rather than staying in this area. Although this area is lovely too. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm just waiting for her to message me saying she's ready. She is up. But she's not quite ready yet, but I said there was no rush. We've got the whole day, so it's not like we're in a rush to get out of the hotel. I'll show you my outfit. So I've got on this denim play suit. I wasn't sure whether it would be a bit too cold because it's quite kind of windy out there, but this is quite thick and obviously the sleeves are three quarter lengths and I went outside in it and didn't feel cold. So I think I'll be all right. I've washed my hair, so I've just let it dry naturally. Don't have any makeup on, couldn't be bothered. I've just done my eyebrows, lip gloss, and put some SPF on my face. And I am wearing my Crocs with socks. No shame, because yesterday I went out in my trainers and I've got blisters. I feel like every shoe just gives me blisters apart from my Crocs. My Crocs could literally never. So we are wearing the Crocs today with socks. And I'm not ashamed. I'm gonna finish getting my bag together and then go and meet Beth. I'll speak to you all later on.
I actually don't even know what the time is. It must be like almost half seven in the evening. I've just got back to my room. Had such a lovely day. It was really simple actually. Let me shut that curtain because that light is annoying me. So we've had such a good day. It was, it was literally a really simple train journey. It took a little bit of like problem solving to work out where we actually needed to go. Like what train we needed to get on but it was actually quite simple in the end we just went on a little walk around the city we went into old town we had some lunch i had a veg veggie lasagna and an iced coffee we just had a look around some gift shops i'll show you what i bought got for barney just get everything out of my bag apparently this is just the bag that i put everything in today i got these for barney they're three golf balls and they say sweden and they've got the flag They've got a reindeer and they've got a crown. He plays golf, so I thought that would be a cute little gift. We also went into this sweet shop. We bought some sticks of rock, but we got to see how they were made. I filmed most of it, so you will have seen it. But it was so nice. It was five sticks of rock for 150, which is like 11 pounds, I think. I got American Cola, blueberry, watermelon, sour apple which is the one that she was making and sour strawberry we stopped and had another coffee and a pastry we just had like a nice walk around saw some nice views and then we got the train back and i've just been to co-op because there's a co-op right next to our hotel to get myself something to eat now i've just got myself the soba cup noodles and then i got some snacks i got toberone random but i saw it and i just fancied it and i've got this other chocolate bar which i think is kind of similar to an aero it's like a bubbly chocolate and then for tomorrow i got frappuccino and a little yogurt and granola pot i am actually just gonna make my noodles now because i'm quite hungry and then i'm just gonna chill out for the rest of the evening we've got to wake up at 10 past five which is 10 past four uk time so i I'm going to try and get an early night, but I need to eat because I feel quite hungry now. My phone's also been dead for the last, like, hour and a bit, so I need to message Barney because he's messaged me and I've not replied yet. It's been a lovely, lovely day in Stockholm. I will try my best to speak to you tomorrow morning. If not, I will see you at home. Good night. Good morning. <laughs> so I am home, as you can see. I'm actually editing the current vlog that you're watching behind me. Today is Monday and it's about 11 minutes past 10. So I am home. Um, I'm so sorry that I did not speak to you yesterday morning. So I slept so badly in Stockholm the night before we left. So I was so tired when we were on the train back, right? And I thought I'm going to sleep so well tonight. I'm going to be able to fall asleep so easily. And I didn't actually like get into bed until about half past nine. And then I was just sat on TikTok scrolling. I always do that before I go to sleep. It got to like half 10 and I was like, I need to go to sleep because I had to be up at five. My alarm was going off. I tossed and turned for hours. I could not get to sleep for the life of me. I basically, when I'm quite, when I'm really tired or also I get it when I've been drinking and I've drank too much, I get heart palpitations. Don't panic. I've had ECGs in the past. They've told me there's not actually a problem with my heart. I don't have a heart problem, but I think my body just... I've always had like kind of an out of sync heartbeat. My brother has the same thing. Sometimes like when I'm anxious or when I've had too much of like something like alcohol or sugar, I get heart palpitations. And because I think I was anxious, I started getting heart palpitations and that stopped me from being able to sleep. Normally what I do to get rid of it is have a chamomile tea. That's what usually helps me. And to be fair, I didn't even look. I probably did have a chamomile tea in my room that I could have had, but I don't know. I was just determined to like get out of it myself without the use of chamomile tea. It stopped me from being able to sleep for hours. And I remember the last time I looked at my phone at the time it was five past midnight and obviously I was getting up at five. My alarm was going off at five. So I reckon I had about four hours sleep 
and then obviously had three sectors yesterday. We got picked up in Stockholm at 10 past six, but that's 10 past five UK time. And then we cleared at four. So that's like an 11 hour day. It was a very long day and I was very tired when I was driving home, especially because it was so hot yesterday as well. I got home and then I just had a shower and we had dinner. I had, Barney and I had planned to go for a run yesterday evening because we started going for like evening runs every day but like maybe two or three times a week i was so tired i was like i am not going for a run right now i am about to go to the gym so i'm gonna make up for it because i woke up with such little sleep and in such a foul mood yesterday morning i didn't really feel like speaking to you all the day went absolutely fine we didn't really have any kind of like delays or anything we finished on time flights were all good obviously i had I came back from Stockholm and then I had an Amsterdam there and back. I don't know if I mentioned that because I think I forgot what my link was at the end of the year at all, but it was an Amsterdam there and back. Obviously, Amsterdam's a quick flight. It's 45 minutes and it was absolutely fine. I woke up this morning at about half past eight and I was so like zombified. I had a cup of tea watched some youtube and then i made myself an iced coffee which i'm still drinking and this has like woken me up a little bit enough to feel human i've just got dressed i am gonna go to the gym that's my plan for this morning and then i'm gonna go home via sainsbury's and get some stuff for dinner i think we're gonna have a barbecue tonight because it's a really nice hot day today I need to put some washing on wash my work dresses for my next trip oh that's that's the other thing that i kept forgetting to tell you all so I mentioned at the beginning of the vlog that I had three available days, right? And every time I sat down to talk to you all, I thought to myself, I need to mention about the available days changing. Completely forgot to do it every single time. So today's Monday and on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I had three available days. I mentioned that I was trying to swap them myself and not leave it up to fate and all that. Got in on, what day did I start work? Thursday? Yeah, Thursday. And one of the girls, the girl that I actually ended up going into Stockholm with, she had a three-day Miami on Wednesday to Friday. And I was talking about, like, how basically the long-haul trips that I'd seen that weren't fully crewed or just needed crew. I'm not going to say the routes that they were, but I wasn't keen on doing either of them. And I was concerned that I was going to get given one of those. And I kind of wanted to try and swap my available days. And she was like, would you want a Miami? Because... I'm not that fast on dinner Miami and I don't mind taking available days for it. And I was like, yeah, fine. I know what I'm doing with Miami. It's nice weather there at the moment. It's on the 380. I swapped my available days for her Miami. And then I thought the next day, so basically the cutoff for us to swap a trip is five days before the trip. So my cutoff to swap my trip was Friday. We were on the bus to Manchester airport after our night stop on Friday. And I thought, I'm just going to have a little look at what some of the open swaps are. And there was an Atlanta on there. And I've only ever done one Atlanta. It was last September. It was right before I went on holiday to Albania. And I didn't do anything while I was there. I thought, great. Because number one, the Atlanta was a later check-in. It's like two something report. Whereas the Miami is like half past eight in the morning. Which is fine. I don't mind getting up early, as some of you guys know from my OG EasyJet day. But when it comes to long haul... I really prefer a later start because there's so much more that I've got to get ready when it's a long haul trip. Like doing a there and back or short haul, getting up early for it's fine because I don't really have to think about much. But for long haul, for one, I like to try and get there early, as I mentioned at the beginning of this vlog. So it would have meant getting up at half past four and leaving the house at half past five. So I don't know what it is with long haul. For me, the ideal report times are any time between like midday and 3 p.m. For a number of reasons. The first one obviously being that I don't have to get up early. I can just wake up of my own accord. And that makes a difference when you actually arrive in your destination because I'm not as tired as I would be if I had had to set an alarm and wake up early. The second reason is you're not driving in any rush hour times. Also, starting later usually means that you get to your destination later which means you can go to bed at a normal time because obviously the miami i think we arrived in miami because of the time difference i think we clear at like two or three in the afternoon you can't go to sleep at that time because you'll be up stupidly early whereas the atlanta i can't remember what time we clear but i want to say it's like 
in the early to late evening, which is good because by the time we get to the hotel and I have a shower and get myself ready for bed, it's a normal time to actually go to sleep. It helps me sleep better through the night, not wake up as early. So that's why I like starting a little bit later for long calls. So I saw that and I thought I'd rather do that than on Miami. So I swapped onto that. I am now going to Atlanta on Wednesday and it's actually, well, I haven't looked, but I'm assuming it's nice weather there at the moment. So I'm probably just gonna treat it as a chilled trip because I haven't had a chilled trip for so long, it feels like. I'll probably just go to the gym in the morning, go to the pool and then have something to eat, have a nap and then fly home again. It's a very easy trip. It's just 24 hours. I'm glad that I managed to swap it for something that I don't mind doing as opposed to getting something that I wouldn't have wanted to do. I do clear a little bit later now. I was meant to finish the Miami. I was meant to clear at like seven or eight in the morning and obviously now i don't clear until like half past midday but that's fine that's my week so i am gonna vlog my little atlanta trip as well as part of this weekly vlog i'm gonna get myself to the gym i'm gonna quickly down the rest of my coffee and get myself outside because it's such a nice day let's go to the gym hello good afternoon i am back from the gym i've just had a shower got myself dressed for the day i'm wearing this dress that i wore in joburg got it from h&m Kept my hair in its ponytail because there's no way the hair's coming down today. I've put my SPF on, I've got some gold earrings in and I need to go to the post office because I need to post. I might explain this to a lot of you actually because some people might not know. So basically my passport runs out next March, March 2025. And because I'm cabin crew, I've applied for a new one, but when you apply for a new one, you're supposed to then send your old one back. But because of my job, I can't send my old passport back because I need it. It also has my US visa in it, which isn't due to run out for like three more years. So the way that you have to do it is you have to get a letter basically from your employer stating why you can't return your passport. And you also have to photocopy your entire passport and then send it off to the passport office. So I did that yesterday while I was at work and I need to send that off today. And I'm also going to send first class my friend Robin's birthday card and present because it's her birthday tomorrow. This is the card I got her. I got a happy birthday from one classy bird to another. Me and her have been friends since we were kids and it's her 29th. I got her the... Happy Days um, Lush Bath Bomb set because she loves Lush. It comes with the Toby's Magic Cow Bath Bomb, Intergalactic Bath Bomb, the Comforter Bubble Bar and the Bright Side Bubble Bar. Got her that and then I'm also... Have any of you guys seen like those iced coffee glasses that you can decorate? I am gonna make a video explaining this and properly launching it but basically I'm starting my own small business where I sell mainly like aesthetic drinkware. I am gonna make a whole separate video launching it and showing you everything as part of my shop. Um, because my website has I haven't been launched yet I haven't launched it yet but don't worry all will be revealed in my next video but I thought I'd just mention it now just in case you guys wonder why I have these things anyway I made this one which says coffee is my love language and I thought this would be a cute little gift to also give her so I'm gonna pop that one in the box for her as well so let's get packing <laughs> Today's Wednesday, I'm sorry, I've missed a whole day out. Didn't do much else on Monday after I went out and posted my parcels, a barbecue in the evening and that was about it. And then yesterday, Barney was working from home. So obviously, you know, when he works from home, I don't tend to get the camera out as much. But yesterday I just packed my case for Atlanta today, did some cleaning. In the afternoon, Barney and I went for a run on the beach. We were gonna go for a swim after, but it ended up clouding over and being a little bit chilly. I think I mentioned that we started going for runs like two to three times a week. It was nice, but I'm literally, I, I really struggle to run. Like, 
I wouldn't say I'm unfit because obviously I have quite an active job. I go to the gym and I do quite a lot of walking when I'm down route as well. But when it comes to running, I'm so bad at it. Like I just, I can run for maybe like a few minutes and then I have to stop and walk for a bit because it hurts my legs, my ankles, I'm out of breath. So if anyone's a runner and has got any tips, please pop them in the comments below because I really want to get good at it. Anyway, it's about, it's just after 10 a.m. So I'm leaving the house in about an hour. I've done my makeup. I literally just need to get dressed, do my hair and finish packing my stuff. And then I'm gonna go. I report at 10 past two today. I'm off to Atlanta. Can't remember what the flight time is for Atlanta. I did it almost a year ago now, but I know it's in Georgia, which is like in the South area of the US. When I get there tonight, I will probably just um, go straight to bed, to be honest with you. And then tomorrow I am just gonna go to the gym, probably go to the pool and that'll be about it. It's gonna be a very chilled trip. I thought I'd include little parts of it anyway, otherwise it wouldn't be a true week in the life of cabin crew. I'm gonna finish getting ready. So I will see you all in Atlanta. <laughs> because there's been occasions in the past where we haven't received a wake up call. Anyway, I don't remember my alarm going off, but it must have done because it was off when I looked at it. It's obviously gone off and I was so asleep that I've just switched it off without realizing. My phone rings at 8.45, which is our pickup time. And I'm like, oh my God, they haven't given me a wake up call and I haven't woken up. And obviously, like, if they were calling me to say you need to, you, you're supposed to be downstairs, I obviously I'm not dressed, my hair isn't done, my makeup isn't done, not that I'm gonna wear makeup for tonight's flight. Nothing's packed, like there's stuff everywhere. So if they were calling me for that reason, I would have been running around this room like a mad woman, but then technically it wouldn't have been my fault because I am supposed to get a wake up call. When the phone rang, I answered it, no one said anything on the other end. I was like, oh my god, got up out of bed ran to the door bit of paper under the door <laughs> and for any of you that are new a bit of paper under the door always means a delay and yeah our pickup time was delayed by one hour but i'm really glad that i obviously didn't hear my alarm and just switched it off in my seat because if i'd heard it i would have woken up an hour earlier than i needed to I'm actually really glad and I've, I've ended up having quite a good sleep i must have had like three hours which is really good for me i never sleep for that long before pick up as i said i'm not going to put makeup on for the flight i'm literally just going to do my skincare now and pack my case and then head downstairs i thought i'd end the vlog because i'm going to get home tomorrow afternoon and probably will forget so thank you all so much for watching this week in the life of cabin crew i hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss future cabin crew videos and i will see you in my next video